since February of 2012, Jacob Pyle has been producing a weekly newscast for Team Blast Ministries in Sharpsville, Indiana, known as the Blast Newscast. His goal with each week's newscast is to teach people the Word of God, not just to the kids at Team Blast, but to people who may not have heard of Team Blast, or may not even have heard about such things as God or Jesus. Our goal is to inspire, and we are here to get you interested in God's Word, because we are team believers, loving and serving together, under one God. Hallelujah! Praise you, Jesus! Let's have a blast! to you live from Teen Blast Ministries, right here in good old Sharpsville, Indiana, Corwin Dalton and Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Chris Henry. Hello and welcome to the Blast Newscast. I'm Corwin Dalton. And I'm Jacob Pyle. Three weeks from today will be our final edition of the Blast Newscast for the 2013-2014 school year season. We've had a lot of fun moments and interesting reports this past school year alone. So for the next two weeks, we are going to be presenting a special report as we take a look at a top five list of, our, of some of our favorite moments of the Blast Newscast, known as the best of the 2014 school year. And in part one, we're going to take a look at some of your favorite reports that we featured this school year. So, here with part one of this two-part special, report is our Blast Newscast reporter, Tyler Miller. Thank you, Corey. Beginning this week, the Blast Newscast is going to present the top five lists of some of our favorite reports from this school year. Now, it was hard to pick and choose the best reports of this school year alone because every, every report that the Blast Newscast did was terrific. And as much as we would like to show you all, show you all the list, we start out with a report that Taylor Long did when everyone returned from uh, Big Stuff Church Camp. We asked all the Blast Newcast members that went a couple of questions that, about this special experience. Uh, my experience at Big Stuff Church Camp, um, it's a big spiritual booster, I guess you can say. Every year it gets better and better, but um, this past year it's really changed my heart. Just, <clears throat> Just the emotion that was put into all that we were involved in was amazing. Next on number four list, here's Brian Bookout interviewing some of the Team Blast students at this year's Halloween party. This is my awesome friend Kelsey who's wearing a costume. Kelsey, what are you and why do you wear it? I am the 10th Doctor and the reason why I wore it is because Brian is the 11th. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you Kelsey. I am the living you. I love you all. On number three of our list is a report we did was in August during Wild Wacky Tuesday. He Here's Jacob Pyle with the look at one of the stunts that took place. Our next game, I have to say, involves food, but no, we're not eating all this food, cupcakes and pies. You, it's a relay race. You just go through the food, then you tag the next person. That person next has to has to run across now to the other side like Kelsey's doing right now and then they then they tag that person it's kinda like an obstacle course I guess of sorts then the next person has to walk on a balance beam have good balance that's all you have to do whoa that's pretty good now take a look at this folks this is very interesting indeed now we now pretty much just sack relay you're just having to jump over a sack and to the beginning and then you start all over again. On number two of our list is Brian Bookout with a report he did known as Dreaming Big. Folks ages 54 to 64 believe owning a home and being financially dependent are important elements of the American dream. But for millennium problems for millenniums, folks in their late teens and twenties, those goals aren't as big a deal. Young Americans place a higher priority on travel than their parents and grandparents. And now we save the most touching story of the 2013-2014 school year to the very last. 
Here's a report I did a couple weeks ago, known as Great Grandmother's Prom Experience. They have, they have so many stories to tell. Not Dolores has one more story. They posed for prom photos. The high school applauded their arrival at Dolores, whacked balloons with, the, with her cane, and they slowed dance to the Frank Sinatra standard Dolores, which Dolores' husband used to sing to her. The couple returned home by 9 p.m., later than I go to bed these days, Dolores admitted, but she had a great time, and so did Austin. I feel stupendous, he said. When you help others, in some way you help yourself, she means so much to us. I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. We hoped you liked part one of our special report. We will have part two of our report next week when we look at the top five favorite skits that we featured on the newscast. Don't miss it. For the, for the Blast newscast, I'm Tyler Miller. Thank you, Tyler, for the report. And thank you to all the Blast newscast reports for all the great reports you've been bringing to us this school year. Next week in part two, Brian Bookout will have the top five skits that we featured this school year. You don't want to miss it, but for right now, though, here with this week's Team Blast announcements is Tritton Byers. Hello everyone, here's our Team Blast announcements for this week. We are now taking auditions for the upcoming 2014-2015 school year of the Blast Newscast. If you think you got what it takes to become part of a terrific news team on the Blast Newscast, talk to Jacob Pyle after Team Blast or talk to him on Facebook. Previous on camera experiences not required. We would love to have you as as part of the news team. A reminder that this Friday, Team Blast will be going to Oasis Community Church in Tipton to watch fireworks. And there will be free hot dogs and drinks will be there at the event. And, yeah. Also, come and join us for fun. For fun, 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 fun time as we watch, uh, as we do our baptism and a weenie roast at the Dalton, at the Dalton's house. Now, we got to watch as some of our new Christians make it official and baptize for the son of the Holy and the Holy Spirit. Weather will be permitting. And finally, Team Blast will be leaving for Panama City Beach, Florida for Big Stuff Church Camp on July 20th. We will have, we have 33 people signed up um, for this, for the event. As of right now, the camp that we are going to is only, is the only camp left and it's selling fast as well. Now remember that once our camp is sold out, we won't be able to take any more people. But your 50 non-refundable deposit will be the only way you'll be able to guarantee your spot. So if interested, talk to Kendra and Desi because as is always, once camp is full, it will be way, way too late. If you are, if you have an announcement of an upcoming event that you'd like to share with us, message Jacob Pie on Facebook or leave an, us a note on the Blast Newscast website at www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. Your announcement needs to be sent in two to three weeks prior of the date of uh, to the date of the event in order for it to be used on the newscast. I'm Trent Byers, and those are your announcements for this week. Thank you, Trenton. Before we continue on with our next segment, we have a program note. Effective beginning this week, Levi Bennington will not be featured on the newscast anymore during the weather segment. Levi Bennington has been involved with the newscast since we started doing the newscast, and he did a wonderful job in doing the weather for us each and every week. And so beginning this week, we have a new lady who will be featured every week in doing the weather segments for us. And so it's time for our weather with our brand new rain or shine weather lady, Julia Gurney. Thank you, Jacob. Hello everybody. Cool temperatures and rain is making a big impact in this week's weather forecast. In fact, unlike last week when we have had a few days here and there of sticky and very humid temperatures, cooler temperatures make a comeback in this week's forecast. So plan on having an umbrella with you if you have any outdoor plans. Our forecast for today calls for a 60% chance of thunder showers with a high of 80 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. 
Tomorrow, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 82 degrees and a low of 62 degrees. And for the rest of our week, expect partly cloudy skies for Thursday. A 30% chance of thunderstorms for both Friday and Saturday. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Whatever you do, I'm Julia Gurney, and that's today's weather. The Blast Newscast now has its own official website. It's at www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. Here you will find current episodes of the Blast Newscast, catch up with past episodes of the newscast, get to know the people who make the Blast Newscast possible, and even drop us a line with your questions, comments, suggestions, or ideas. As I said, it's all here at www.blastnewscast.com. Blastnewscast.weebly.com. That's www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. See you there. Continuing on with this week's edition of the Blast Newscast, we will be celebrating a very important birthday in a few days. Johnny Cash, written a poem known as I Am the Nation. And as we celebrate 4th of July this year, think about what this country means to us. Here to recite the poem, I Am the Nation, is Teen Blast's very own Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Corey. I Am the Nation. I was born on July the 4th, 1776, and the Declaration of Independence is my birth certificate. The bloodlines of the world run in my veins because I offer freedom to the oppressed. I am many things and many people. I am the nation. I am 200 million living souls and the ghosts of millions who have lived and died for me. I am Nathan Hale and Paul Revere. I stood at Lexington and fired the shot around the world. I am Washington, Jefferson, and Patrick Henry. I am John Paul Jones, the Green Mountain Boys, and David Crockett. I am Lee and Abe Lincoln. I remember the Alamo, the Maine, and Pearl Harbor. When freedom called, I answered and stayed until it was over, over there. I left my heroic dead in Flanders Fields and in the steaming jungle of Vietnam. I am the Brooklyn Bridge, the Wheatlands of Kansas, and the Granite Hills of Vermont. I am the coal fields of the Virginias and Pennsylvania, the fertile lands of the West, the Golden Gate and the Grand Canyon. I sprawl from the Atlantic to the Pacific, three million square miles throbbing with industry. I am more than three million farms. I am forest, field, mountain, and desert. I am quiet villages, and I'm cities that never sleep. You can look at me and see Ben Franklin walking down the streets of Philadelphia. I am Babe Ruth of the World Series. I am 130,000 schools and colleges, and 326,000 churches where my people worship God as they please. I am a ballot dropped in a box. I am an editorial in a newspaper, and I'm a letter to a congressman. I'm a Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein. I am Horace Greeley, Will Rogers, and the Wright brothers. I am George Washington Carver, Daniel Webster, and Jonas Salk. I am Walt Whitman, Thomas Paine, Tom Sawyer, and Walt Disney. Yes, I am the nation. And these are the things that I am. I was conceived in freedom, and God willing in freedom I will spend the rest of my days. May I possess always the integrity, the courage, and the strength to keep myself unshackled, to remain a citadel of freedom and a beacon of hope to the entire world. I am the nation. Happy birthday, America. Looking for something to do on a Tuesday afternoon? Come up with bonus for Team Blast. Our address is 210 South Main Street, Sharpsville, Indiana, 46068. Anyone 6th grade or older is welcome. We are open after school for Team Blast on Tuesdays until 9 p.m. with services from 6.30 to 8.30. Come join us, won't you? On next week's edition of the Blast Newscast, we are going to have uh, part two of our special report. The best of 2013 and 14 school year, season one and part two, Brian Bookout, will list the top five time greatest skits that we featured this school year. 
Join us for the conclusion to our two-part special report, the best of the 2013 and 2014 year season. That's coming up on next week's edition of the Blast Newscast. I can't see that. And we'll see you then. Ha! Uh, and with that, that'll be it for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Corwin Dalton. And I'm Jacob Pyle, wishing all of you a safe and a happy 4th of July from all of us here at the Blast Newscast. And until next week, good night, and God bless my friends. Let's have a blast. This is Chris Henry speaking for the Blast Newscast. This program has been pre-recorded.